What's going on, Ground Roots Outdoors? That's right, it's here in Morstead, and it's been a while. As you can see, we're shooting the Ripper 425 from Killer Instinct. Just doing some cleanup work, trying to get it going. I put a new scope on it. That's right, I'll show you that here in just a yep, That's right, I put a new scope on it. The Lumex Speed Ring. And you've seen me put one of those on the Bone Collector Killer Instinct that I had. But I had to let it go as is, so now I'm doing it again. Retesting. But anyway, it's nothing new today, guys. I'm just gonna go through the through the cleanup stages and, and warming up. I am going to be going hunting in the morning tomorrow, but I am taking the EVL. Guys, the EVL and the Victory Extortion Arrows, 550 grain arrows with cut on contact broadheads has made a tremendous difference. Guys, I have yet to have a blood trail longer than 50 yards. I'm telling you. So, amazing stuff coming. Uh, we got some new arrows coming out and uh, we'll see where we're at. So, stay tuned. Let's talk. All right, we got this thing lubed up and greased up. And uh, she's hitting a hair high and left. So we're gonna clean that up today. Hang that there. There we go. Now, I got this tripod here from Caldwell. It's a shooting pod. I bought that for my son. That way he can do it because it's still a little bit heavy for him. And plus we're getting him broke in now to shooting heavy duty rifles because he wants to try hunting with a rifle next year. So we're doing all kinds of stuff this year. So let's, let's let one rip here. Let's square you up. And remember, were you shooting a Hyper? Killer Instinct Hyper 390s? Now, I'm not shooting the lighted knock today, but normally I shoot a nocturnal lighted knock. All right, I'm sure that's nice and snug. Let's let one rip. Still hitting left, but that was actually good on the elevation. All right. All right. So, hitting to the left, just air. Let's take a look, take a walk. Yep, we'll do that real quick. I just want to show you. It's hitting just a hair left, which is not bad, honestly. We don't have any wind today, which is amazing. So here we go, check it out, look at that. That's pretty decent right there, elevation's good. We just need to bring it to the right just a hair. Now, if you remember, like I said, um, oh no, I didn't say. Now these are the normal veins that come with the Killer Instinct. Um, now I did put some blazer veins on them because I blew some off and I wanted to put my own, Want to put my own veins on there just to see if a two inch will be different than that three inch or if it's going to shoot the same i don't know let's find out but let's get this thing adjusted first to shooting tacks so we made our adjustment to the right and let's cock this thing up and let's see what happens <sighs> it's just a beautiful day today just tinkering i should be hunting but really didn't feel like it i've got four deer in my freezer and most our buck are nocturnal right now but i have gotten some on the camera at just at daybreak so we're gonna try it in the morning like i said so it should be fun all right let's shoot it again Let's 
That was nice. All right, so anyway, that was just a hair to the right. So just I just made two clicks, and we're gonna shoot again and see what happens. Hang in there. Not too shabby. Now, we're gonna go down here. I don't like carrying the tripod. Tripod annoys me. Don't mind the noise next door. Neighbors are doing some work. All right, there we go. Yeah, the right, I think, was a little me, but that's right where I want it. I want it a little high, and I'll explain that later. So stay tuned. All right, so I told you it was gonna be an inch to two inches high, and I did that on purpose because that puts me right at 30 yards with this reticle, and this thing shoots so flat that that 20 yards, because it is a 425, and it's about 415 feet per second. IBO is 425. So please don't don't mistake that. It's not going to be 425 feet per second. It's going to, that's your IBO. 415 is good. I'm happy with that. And this thing is dialed up. So I'm gonna shoot these two inch veins now just to see how they fly. And we'll go from there. So, all right, here we go. Now my fletching job on my arrows are great. So let's see how it works on crossbow bolts. Yep. They fly really good. <laughs> wow. That was cool. <clears throat> now, I put this thing dead center, and you're gonna see I did hit higher than two inches, or an inch, I hit about three, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop it down a little bit. But you're gonna see that windage on this thing is amazing. Check that out. That's pretty darn good windage to me. Yeah, that is about three inches two and a half three inches so i dropped it down just a hair so if i put my bullseye right here it should put me right about here and that's what i want for 30 yards there you go All right, let's see where we're hitting now that we made the adjustment the elevation Perfect, right where I want it. That's good. And I'm gonna shoot a regular three inch vein, hyper vein, just to make sure that it's hitting right where this one's hitting. And I'm gonna leave this bolt in there because if I hit the bolt, who cares? They're, you know, they're cheap. Right, check it out. Now I did hit just a hair right, but that was me. Because I pulled up, I wanted to see where it hit. And that was dumb. So, I'm going to leave that in there, and we'll see where it hits. Alright, now, every once in a while, you see when I make an adjustment to the elevation or the windage, you see me tap the little dial. Maybe you haven't, but I do. And it's something my dad taught me. You know, he's, he's an award-winning marksman through the Air Force when he was in the Air Force. And uh, he used to beat the pants off of a lot of the Navy sniper guys. and the, So, which was funny. Um, but... That was just what they taught him and in, in his marksmanship training 
and it's supposed to line up your reticles and stuff. I don't know if that's true or not. I just, I do it because that's the way he taught me and I've always done it. So who knows, check it out. All right, we're gonna shoot this one now, the standard vein that comes with it and see where it hits. I just love shooting. Huh. That's cool. I'm gonna shoot again. Just, just, just. Out of curiosity. Right, we're gonna see just out of curiosity. Curiosity killed the cat, but it made me a better shooter. Let's take a walk. All right, so I'm shooting these at 20 yards and uh, yeah, this thing's doing real well. <laughs> and it's doing exactly what I want it to do. Check it out. Yeah. That's four of them. I like it. I like it a lot. Hang in there. All right. Went and got one of my lighted knocks. Now let's see how it flies. an interesting dilemma the lighted knock actually hit low that may have been me we're gonna yeah, find out it hit a half inch low that's interesting but that's okay that's why you do practice and you find out test your equipment shoot the lighted knock again just to make sure that it, it was me or if i need to make adjustments so hang on It was me. <laughs> yeah, it was me, big time. Sometimes I have a tendency to push it because I want to see where the bolt goes and where it hits and instead of doing what I need to do. I mean, this thing's perfect. Yeah, that's pretty darn good. Now, I gotta bring it up just a little bit and that thing should be dialed up perfectly. So, All right, here, we go. here we go. Made the adjustments to come up just a little bit. I wanted about an inch high, half, half inch to an inch high. We're gonna shoot again. This time I'm not aiming at dead center of the bullseye because I'm wearing it out. I'm gonna aim at the bottom one. There it is. Perfect. That's exactly where I want it to hit. Because this thing is dialed up at 20 and 30 yards. I'm going to leave it at that. Okay. Oh, hey, you need to see this. This is why I love this speed ring scope because the dial you don't have to put a quarter in there and turn it it's a, an adjustable dial check that out even if i was just going to use this for 20 and 30 yards that's perfect that's what i love about it so a little tip for you guys shooting crossbows with cocking ropes 
leave them strapped to your crossbow when you put them up. It's a good idea because it doesn't hurt your strings any and you don't have to worry about losing your cross, your cocking rope. Tip 101 from Aaron Morstead, Ground Roots Outdoors. All right, y'all. So reality is that crossbow, the Ripper 425 from Killer Instinct is dialed up and ready to rock and roll at 20, 30, and 40 yards. I do not have the speed ring set up for the long distance shooting and stuff, but as far as having it dialed up and ready to rock and roll at 20, 30, and 40, it's ready. And so I said I was going out tomorrow and I said I was taking the EVL out, but I'm, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to take the ripper out and let's see what happens. I'm not going to shoot anything unless it's a, a mature buck. Um, I got plenty of meat in the freezer and I just want to see what it'll do. And hopefully we get a mature buck because we're on the downside of the bell curve on the rut. If you guys know anything about that, the, yeah. So we hit the peak, you know, just that week before Thanksgiving, we're, we're on the peak, getting up on the peak. Thanksgiving's on the peak. Now we're on the backside of it going down. And, uh, so hopefully we'll catch some of them, but those big bucks cruising, the mature bucks cruising around. Like I said, guys, I'm not a big trophy hunter, but everybody wants to at least, everybody wants to tag at least one trophy. Um, for me, every deer's a trophy but anyway hopefully you like what you see if you like what you see hit your thumbs up if you like what you see and you're not a subscriber hit the subscribe button and the little bell for notification that's why you get all my videos guys i love you guys thank you very much we are at 470 subscribers now pretty cool thank you guys for everything you do and again like i said we hit that 500 mark may do a challenge or a giveaway also we hit that thousand mark We'll definitely do a, a giveaway or a challenge, and the challenge might be crazy. So stay tuned. Love you guys. Take care. Have a great holidays.